before we get into this video, can we appreciate this wholesome moment of the legend himself, Dr. Disrespect, finding his actual vest in the game? It's dedication. Put your leaves early, you said. Well, we're disciplined enough to understand that. You know what dedication Whoa! is? Whoa! What? I just found my vest in the game. What? <laughs> I thought you just got a thousand dollar dono. I mean, it might as well be. I don't know about you guys, but I thought a thousand dollar bill would look a little different, but hey, pretty neat. Now, there have been so many Modern Warfare 3 leaks, rumors, and even confirmations that have gotten lost in the sauce that is the internet that I thought not only would it be good for myself, but it might as well share with all of you guys all of the leaks, rumors, and confirmations around Modern Warfare 3, or at least all the ones that I can find. So starting off, the one rumor I have not heard anyone really talking about or hyping up is the return of Outbreak. And if you don't remember, Outbreak was an open world survival game mode within Cold War that was really underappreciated at the time. I mean, it was an open world survival game with zombies that at the end of each round, he had different objectives that would give you a game mode like escort, survival, you know, kill the big red bar bullet sponge baddie. And then it would launch you into a new sector, which was a whole new themed map. It could have been like an Alpine area. It was just so cool. And as I said, it was for sure underappreciated at the time and this mode that is coming back has been worked on by call of duty's favorite child treyarch and i'm trying not to get excited but it's really hard when you have the golden devs over at treyarch making one of my favorite most underappreciated game modes within call of duty's history which is outbreak now the gamer revolution did tweet out reminder modern warfare 3 will have an open world zombies by treyarch and not only that there's been like this five and ten second video circulating around that says one word zombies and then shows off what looks to be the official modern warfare 3 you know the logo the graphic for zombies zombies my joker smile you know who the villain is just so you remember who you dealing with sick right and we are getting the world reveal next thursday at least as a recording this video next thursday august 17th where i think we're gonna get a video or a trailer or an event that's gonna do a really good job of hyping up all of the call of duty fans and the casuals to the sweat lords alike now we know modern warfare 3 is going to be bringing us back some of modern warfare's just classic maps the terminals the high rise the scrap yards in fact they've been in the file of the game for so long now that they can't get release those classic fire maps on a poop game like Modern Warfare 2. So when they release the fire that is Modern Warfare 3, they're gonna be giving us the fire. And we even have images of Terminal and Scrapyard. I put them on the screen. And now Terminal looks great, seriously. It's bright and well lit, and it looks like an airport 20 minutes before all hell breaks loose. And this is this type of stuff I wanna play on. Scrapyard, while looking like it's had quite a few gunfights on it, it's still bright, it's still open, and I really enjoy seeing this stuff. I mean. I see a bright open sky with minimal clouds and I freaking love it. And I know there are a group of people who enjoy darker, smoky maps, but that ain't me. I want bright maps. I want to have gunfights on beaches, like the beaches of Hawaii. And though as of right now, that probably is not the most welcoming thing because I don't know if you guys know. If you don't know, now you know this is not a joke. Hawaii is literally on fire and it might not be around next year. Like the whole island of Hawaii is very, very much on fire placing your love, your energy, your jokes, your prayers, anything and everything you can to the people in Hawaii because they really need it. And I know that had absolutely nothing to do with Modern Warfare 3, so we'll bring it back to the Call of Duty now, shall we? Let's bring it back. And let me ask you this, what kind of map do you like to play on in a first person shooter game, specifically Call of Duty? Do you like the bright maps like the Mercados, the hotels, or do you like dark maps like Berlin or the new one where you have to play at night with the binoculars on with the night vision goggles on but moving on one of my favorite things that is rumored to be returning is the classic red dot system dead silence or ninja coming back in the form of gear slash perks we're supposedly getting the return of slide canceling and reload canceling and i wish i can grow greater detail on this because at surface level it seems kind of cool i guess but our perks next year are probably going to be rebranded in the form of gear and are going to come in the form of boots gloves vest and a helmet and this means that you can have gloves that are like 
like sleight of hand or engineer. You can get a pair of boots that give you ninja or double time, a vest that could give you something like cold blooded or overkill. And heck, lastly, you can get a helmet that can give you either high alert or tracker. I mean, the combinations on this are pretty endless and I really kind of like this because it fits into the world of Call of Duty, but most importantly, it gives me the options of having all the different perks that I want. Dead silences, double time, a classic mini map, though I do not want that to be a perk. And as I said, on the surface level, this seems pretty cool. And I dare say it fits pretty well within COD and its structure, but I can already feel that there's a group of people in COD that are going to not like it and they're going to let it be known. But I think if COD does or did anything, there's an X amount of people that are going to bitch and moan no matter what they do or don't do. And another thing I think we all know people are going to bitch and complain about is the return of slide canceling and reload canceling because there's a small group of people within Call of Duty who are very vocal who think that slide canceling and reload canceling ruined COD and it just makes it too sweaty. But we could see with it out that Call of Duty just bleeds players. And the only way the bleeding stopped was when the hint of these things were returning. Now, if we're going to talk Warzone map and what Warzone map we're going to get with Modern Warfare 3, it's more than likely going to be a heavily inspired Verdansk map. Are we ever going to get Verdansk one for one back? Absolutely not. I shouldn't say absolutely not. Probably never going to get it back. And I say that because in the original engine when Verdansk came out, if you touched water that was ankle deep, you died. Now we can full on cannibal in the water and swim around. So Verdansk or a heavily inspired Verdansk map is more than likely going to be the style that returns. And from the teaser trailers, we could see water gameplay isn't going anywhere and it seems to be sticking around. So that means if and when we get a Verdansk map back, it's more likely going to be a Verdansk 2.0 because it's going to be a Verdansk that has to have some type of water. And if you are in Call of Duty's text automated system thread, I've been keeping you guys in the loop with this on the daily on all the images and the text that I've gotten. I'm going to continue to do so because today or last night we got this image and I I think it's giving us a snippet of proof that we are having water come and from what I'm calling Verdance 2.0. I mean, to me, this looks like the entrance of water tunnels that we have now on Ashika Island with a stair passageway that'll bring you to a, probably like a bigger POI, something like a supermarket instead of superstore. However, I can feel it right now that you want to tell me how wrong I am and that this image is clearly something else. So I would love to hear what you think this image is. Let me know down below. I'll be responding to all the comments and while you're down there, you might as well like and subscribe. We're on our way to 500 subscribers and I would really appreciate the help. Now I know this isn't a link, but confirmation that I kind of want to bring up again because we talked about it briefly in yesterday's video, but we are getting cross progression from not only Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3, but we're going to be getting cross progression from Warzone to Warzone Mobile. And as Warzone Mobile's launch comes sooner, we will be getting more information around this. And when we do, I'm going to make sure to share it to you. But but for now, this means that the rumor implies that when you leave for a vacation, you can't take the PC, the Xbox, the PlayStation with you. You could take the iPad and just hook up your controller Bluetooth to the iPad. You could take the games with you. And this just makes so much sense to me with Microsoft's recent acquisition of Activision and Blizzard because they got the IPs of Call of Duty, Overwatch, so many more that I think this would be Microsoft's A plus way to battle Google Plus Play Store. I know I can't be the only person to see the, the Google Play ads where it's like, bam, on my phone, bam, on the computer, bam, it's everywhere. I could play anywhere and everywhere. And Microsoft said, okay, Google, you want to play that game? We could play that game too. You like Call of Duty? You like playing it on your PC and whatnot? Now take it on the go and level up that same gun. Use your same operators. Use your same everything. And as you level it up on my phone or as you level up on vacation, you come back to your computer, you come back to the setup, you level it up or you unlock some stuff and now you can use it on your PC. I think this is just going to be the future of gaming, but I don't know what this is going to do to file size for gaming. It's going to be very interesting because there ain't no way you can have a 250 gigabyte download on an iPhone. But this is where we're going to wrap up today's video. If you learned anything or found anything insightful at all, please like and subscribe. We are on our way to 500 subscribers. We have like 87% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed and that is all kinds of messed up. So I would really appreciate your support. If you would like, share, subscribe. If you're already a part of the kingdom, you're already subbed, please share this video with a friend. Get them caught up with all things Modern Warfare 3. And as always, I challenge you guys, make somebody laugh today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.